In this video, I take my D850 and the Nikkor 200 to 500 out in search of a rare bird that's not very shy. I wanted to see what kind of detail I could capture with this combo. And from past experience, I've been able to get pretty close to this bird. So I think it would be the perfect subject. So if you're watching this like on a big screen TV or a good size monitor, put it in full screen because I think the detail I captured is pretty impressive. And just so you know, this video is a little bit shorter than my other videos because I'm just going after this one bird, but it's still really cool. Sometimes birds get really friendly, like this scrub jay. This is a wild bird, but these birds are always really curious and they will often come do this. Oh, there's another one coming. This is why I'm wearing a hat because they will peck the top of your head. Beautiful bird though. They are, I've got some really good shots. I've got the D850 with me. And being that they're like this, you can get some really good close-ups to get some really good detail. So I'm curious to see what those look like. But that's the scrub jay. These beautiful birds were excellent subjects to show off the detail that can be captured with the Nikon D850. All these shots are handheld using the Nikkor 200 to 500 and shot at very close range. As you can see from the video, these birds aren't very shy. In the first shot, the scrub jay puffed up those feathers. Let's crop in for a closer look and see what we can find. Look at all that detail. That nice soft blue color creates a perfect contrast with that gray. But let's get a little closer to see how that detail holds up. Man, you can really make out each and every individual piece of this bird's feathers. It's just incredible. I don't think I've ever seen feathers this close up before. And here's a great profile shot that shows off a lot of this bold bird's character. I really love how the light hits the blue feathers and gives them that metallic iridescent look. This is one beautiful bird. Not only was this bird beautiful, but apparently it had a lot to say as well. I used this opportunity to capture some slow motion video of the scrub jay. This is turning out to be one of my favorite D850 features. This video was shot handheld too. That's one of the really cool things about shooting slow motion video is you can generally get away with hand holding the camera. This scrub jay was acting a little strange. It was laying on the ground all puffed up and looking up at the sky. So we got a little bit closer in order to get some shots. It was a little cooler this day. And as you can tell, this bird is laying right in a nice sunny spot. It was soaking up some of that warm sun. I'm still not sure why the bird kept looking up though. Maybe the scrub jay saw something in the bushes above or the sun was just too bright. Eventually the scrub jays came out of the bushes and started foraging on the ground. This gave me the perfect opportunity to get some shots of the entire bird. You'll notice that most of these birds are banded. You'll see like the bright colored bands around their legs that's because this specific species the florida scrub jay is considered threatened due to habitat loss being given the label of threatened means that this bird is likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future being endangered is just one step from extinction which is really a shame because these are some of the coolest birds i've encountered in my lifetime almost all of the scrub jays in this area are banded for tracking purposes and to help determine population movement and growth. Who could deny the beauty of these incredible looking birds? I mean, just look at that. The, the colors are just, ah, oh, they're beautiful. Thanks for coming along on the adventure. I had a great time. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button right down there. Click the thumbs up and let me know what you thought of the detail of the scrub jay images. Me, I'm pretty impressed. A lot of the uh, shots weren't even cropped. Some of them were full frame I managed to get the entire bird in the shot so I can probably print it like this big if I want. Anyways thanks for coming along I really appreciate it and until next time.